Hey everyone, welcome to the Lighthouse Kids Company channel. Today we're going to talk about cloth diaper acronyms. What they are, where you find them, if you've been confused about how to say things, about the cloth diaper language in Facebook groups or on Reddit, this is the video for you. If you want to learn more about cloth diapers, make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up so we can keep bringing you these informational and helpful videos to help you along your cloth diaper journey. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I have my handy list here. We have a whole blog post that I'm gonna link down below that talks about all of these things. So if you're ever confused about what you need, you can go and just copy this and paste it for your own use. It's great information. So let's start with the letter A. We're gonna talk about all-in-one cloth diapers. Now, this is my favorite type of cloth diapers. All-in-one cloth diaper is what uh, Lighthouse Kids Company is originally known for. So this is actually just one piece all in one is usually abbreviated as AIO so if you ever see AIO on a cloth diaper website this is what they're talking about it's a cloth diaper that's all one piece and this is really great because you can literally not have to stuff anything just it's kind of an easy grab and go great for parents who are just starting a cloth diaper so that is AIO the next one that we're going to talk about is AI2 all in two exactly like all in one is very descriptive what that means ai2 is that the diaper is in two pieces so if you look at this the two pieces are the insert and the shell so ai2 is all in two and the great thing about this system is if baby just pees you can remove this insert wipe the shell down and put another insert in there the next one, I'm actually going to skip the B's. I'm going to go to C's because this one is an important one. This one is one that we use all the time is CD. CD stands for cloth diaper. I'm going to skip from cloth diapers to E. We want to talk about what EBF means. If you see EBF on a blog, what that actually means is exclusively breastfed. That sometimes that there's kinds of poop that your baby has as they're breastfeeding, that's a little different from your regular poop, right? So when you see, you know, I'm having troubles with a, my EBF baby, that means exclusively breastfed. So that is a good one to know. All right, let's go to L. Um, L is a great one because I actually didn't know this one. Um, L-O, so L-O stands for little one. I was going through blogs uh, when I first started and people would say L-O and I'm like, what the heck is L-O? What does that mean? So L-O stands for little one. Next, we're gonna jump into M and M is important because one of the abbreviations that we use a lot is MF. MF stands for microfiber. It's a very, very absorbent fabric but it's really kind of gross feeling on the skin. It kind of picks up all of your little hairs and like the little imperfections on your skin. So it's not something I prefer in cloth diapering my babies, but that's up to you. Some people like microfiber because of the thirstiness of the material. N, so N, one that should be easy enough is NB for newborn baby. So NB is something we use a lot. Uh, which diaper do you recommend for NB? So NB is just newborn baby. The other one that I see a lot with N is NCDR. And NCDR stands for not cloth diaper related. So if you guys were to pop in here and say, hey, what kind of products are you using on your hair? If you're in a cloth diaper blog, you would say NCDR, what products are you using on your hair? That means this is not cloth diaper related. This is just for my information. You know, I wanna know what that means. Jumping to O, we're gonna talk about OS. And this is actually something important, not just for blogs, but also for like just reading cloth diaper websites in general, manufacturers. OS stands for one size. So a one size diaper is a diaper that goes from, let's say like ours signature goes from six to 32 pounds and you can see here by the snaps that the diaper adjusts so this is a one size diaper now we actually have two one size diapers the signature and the supreme and the reason we did that is because when you have a diaper that fits actually fits a baby that's six pounds there is no way that it's going to fit a 55 pound kid i don't care how many buttons you have right here because the measurements on the side are not correct the cut is not correct. Your body changes as you grow. You need more room here, less room there. So the cut is completely different for a newborn versus a toddler. So both of those sizes are considered one size because it's multiple sizes in one. The other O that we want to talk about is OT. And OT stands for off topic. 
So off topic, again, it's kind of NCDR, not cloth diaper related. Off topic means that it's something not regarding cloth diapers. It could be anything else that you want to talk about. Peas. Peas are very important because they have really good information. So P, PT is one that we use a lot and it means potty train. So PT, whenever you say, hey, my kid is about to PT, that means he's about to potty train. So that's how it, it's used in context of cloth diapers. The other one that we talk about a lot is called PUL. So PUL is the polyurethane laminate uh, that's on the waterproof layer that's bonded to the cloth diaper. So this fabric right here traditionally was bonded to PUL. Um, now we don't use PUL, we use TPU, which I'll get to. <laughs> uh, but PUL and TPU are, are basically bonding methods make this fabric water resistant. So you can either have PUL or TPU. So when people are talking about PUL in a cloth diaper group, usually they're talking about this outer fabric. Let's go to T for TPU, which we just talked about. And TPU is very much like PUL. It's called thermoplastic polyurethane. And this is the lining that makes this water resistant. The reason we use TPU and not PUL on our diapers is just because the bonding process is a little more gentle on the people doing it. So it doesn't really affect, you know, the way the end consumer, in a sense, you can have good PUL diapers, but we found that using TPU instead is a little bit more environmentally friendly, better for our workers, and we have not had any delaminations with, with these diapers using TPU. So we're so happy with the way that this is going on these diapers. So love TPU. Last one that I want to touch on is the W's and that is for wet bags. So wet bags are things that you carry your cloth diapers in and they can have multiple pockets like this one. And the abbreviation for wet bag is simply WB. So if you see WB on any cloth diaper blogs, that's what they're referring to. They're talking about wet bags. And again, this is a place to store your clean and your dirty diapers. So if you see those, that's what it means. Now we have more of these acronyms on our blog. So if you guys wanna be included in all the cloth diaper acronyms, I will link it in the description for you guys. And hopefully it'll make your life a little easier as you're navigating these terms online. Thanks for watching.